Hello, and if you want to learn how to use the Excel shortcuts ultra fast, let's create a calendar together without touching our mouse, not even once. I am using Excel in Office 365, but you can try with your own version. Let me know in the comments below which version are you using for this exercise. To start Excel, press the Windows button plus the R. Here you're going to type Excel and press Enter. When you open Excel, it points you to create a brand new sheet, but you can also move around using the left and right buttons if needed. In this case, let's press Enter. By the way, in today's tutorial, you will hear me say Enter at least 500 times, but in Excel, this is the same as clicking with the mouse. Now let's press Control S to save this file as my new schedule. Once you're done, you're going to press enter. Moving around with the arrow keys, type in cell B2, my schedule. Press enter and we will change the format later. Now move to cell A4 and type the header for the time. Press enter. Now let's move around and when we stop in cell B4, let's type Monday and press enter. Move back to the Monday cell, press shift, and at the same time, highlight the next six cells to the right to autofill the rest of the days. For the autofill shortcut, type Alt, H, F, I, and S. Now the series for the autofill option appears. Press tab six times, then arrow down to autofill. Once you're there, press enter. You can outfit the columns for the days by pressing Alt, then H, O, and I. Go to cell A5, right below the time header, so we can autofill the hours. On this cell, type 9, space, AM, and press enter. Move back to the 9 AM cell, hold the shift key, and then the down arrow to highlight all the way down onto row A14. We will finish the time at 6 p.m. Once the rows are highlighted, now press Alt, H, F, I, and S, and press the tab key six times. Once you are in the type section, use the down arrow to press autofill and then press enter. The time has come to add some borders. Press the arrow up to go back to cell A4, where the time header is. Press Ctrl A to select the whole schedule. Excel automatically guessed the correct data range. We have the selection we need. Press Ctrl T to turn this selection into a table. Leave the check for My Table Has Headers and press Enter. The default table is blue. Let's change the design without touching the mouse. For that, we press Alt, J, T, and S. So we can select the design of your choice by moving with the arrows. We went for the green design and now we are going to press enter. To remove the filter of the table headers, you're gonna press Alt, then J, T, and B. Press any of the arrows if you want to see the final look. To change the fonts, press the Alt key, then H, F, F and select from the drop down menu and you can type here the font name we're using the Avenir Next LT Pro or you can scroll down until you find one that you like press enter when finished and yes just move the arrows to see the fonts better let's go ahead and add some information by moving to any of the cells with the arrows and while you decide what to add Please take a moment to subscribe and share if you're enjoying this video. All right, so let's move to cell B8 to at lunch at 12 p.m. from Monday through Sunday. And in here, we're going to type lunch and you can press enter and then go back to lunch or press F2, depending on your system, to exit the edit mode and leave the cursor right where it is. In my case, F2 did not work, so I have to press enter and then back. So let's change the color of the cell by pressing Alt, 
and H, H, and select any of the colors available using the arrow keys. In this case, we went for this bright yellow and enter. Since launch will be the same, we can actually press Control C to copy, then hold the Shift key and use the right arrow until all the rows are highlighted. You're going to press Control V to paste all of the launch entries and Escape key to deactivate the copy command. Now let's say that we play Pickleball Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. We can type in the first cell Pickleball and then you can press Enter, then go back to it. And in this time, we are going to change the color by selecting Alt then H, H, and once we pick the color of the cell, we just press enter and we can continue. If you want to change any of the font colors, so here we can press Alt, H, F, C, select the color and with our best friends, the arrows, and once we select that, we are good to go. To copy this cell, all we have to do now is press the Control C, to copy, go to Thursday, and another way to paste it is by pressing Enter. Let's not forget about the header. So we go back to cell B2, and here we can change the font using Alt HFF, and let's pick a nice font. This time we're going to press Tab to jump to the font size drop down list, and we're going to type in 19, press Enter, and we're good to go. To merge and center this title, just go to cell A2, hold the shift button and then the right arrow. Once you have all the selection, go to Alt, H, M, and C. You can continue on, but if you need to print this calendar, you can press Control P. Remember that you can navigate using the Tab key, and once you get to the orientation part, Press the down arrow and select Landscape if you need to. Press Tab again until you see the Print button highlighted. You can also have the full written instructions by going to our website, iKnowledgeSchool.com. Check the description and comments below for the link. Thank you for your subscriptions and likes. Connect with us as well. Let us know what you think about this video and see you in the next one.